everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing the Gap Options newsletter results for a beginner trader expiring June 17th. So this was the last week trades on the options newsletter. Win ratio was 100%. Every trade worked. Beginner trader results 21,850. For one week, that's outstanding. Outstanding. We're going to go over it. It's an average risk of $1,000 per trade. And the average return on investment was 210%. So if you have questions or you would like to sign up for the Gap Options newsletter, email me at melissathestockswish.com, call me at 929-3200-GAP, or follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So 2022 has been a really nice year to trade. Actually, we've had some great moves in the market this year, some fantastic moves in the market this year, and I don't expect that it's going to stop anytime soon. So again, every trade worked last week. People think that summer trading is boring. Actually, it's a lot of fun when we get this kind of volatility. And you can make extra money in the summer, whether you're working or whether you're off for the summer. Like I have a friend that's a teacher, she's off for the summer. You can trade on the side. So there were 10 winners, 10 trades, zero break-even, zero losers. Average risk for the beginner is 1,000. Beginner trader profits 21,850. And an average return on investment 210%. So this was last week, okay, June 17th, expiration. I called on June 9th the Walmart 120 puts that expired June 17th. Again, a put is a short. I sent the trade out before the open. If you're on the newsletter, if you sign up, you receive the trades to your email inbox. 75 cents for one contract, that was so cheap. 15 contracts, risk is 1125. Sold at 250, profit $2,625 with a risk of 1125. That's fantastic. A 233% return on investment. Again, training is about getting the move, getting the direction right, getting in, getting out, booking the money. This doesn't even look like much, but this was the call and it was profitable. It was huge. So I called it here, closed here, gap down, called the 120s, got the drop. Boom, out. And I mean, we, we've been doing this a couple times lately. We did it here. Uh, this was the earnings gap on Walmart, but it's had some nice moves. And if you've never traded the stock, it kind of has some really nice moves as a day trade and an option. Then we did the SPY 409 puts, expired June 17th, called it in the morning, a little bit after the open on June 9th, cost was 575, two contracts. Again, got to stay within your risk. 11.50 sold at $36, profit 6,050, return on investment 526%. This is one of these things where again, capturing the overnight moves really counts. I called the 409s here, got the drop, boom. Gap down here, got the drop. So this was the day on the Thursday. Here's the drop, drop, boom. People always ask, is this the best exit you could have gotten? Absolutely not. You do the best you can. This continued. It almost went to 360. It almost went 50 points for the strike. I did not get the best exit in the world in this. You do the best you can. This is a lot of money, people. You got to make up your mind where you want to be. You cannot let profits like that turn against you. Target 155s, I called June 17th too. I mean, uh, June 9th too, expiring June 17th, 218 in the afternoon. It's not often I call a later trade. It's very rare, to be honest with you. Most of the trades are called in the pre-market, but this was a nice one. 260, four contracts, risk 1040, sold at $13, 4160. $4,160 profit with a risk of 1040, that's great. This is how you can take a small account and build it up. It's a, it was a 400% return investment. People don't have to risk five, 10, $15,000 in these trades. You can take a couple of contracts and get the move and get the money. Again, called this one here on the ninth, a little bit later, got the drop, boom. And again, this kept going too. You would have made more money exiting it the last day. Not that I think people should do that, but I just wanna show you it went to 138, which was crazy. I mean, these were just really nice calls. 295s, I called that on Friday, 8.50 in the morning in the pre-market, emailed out. The QQQ 295 puts expired the 17th. These were pricey. You could do one. If your risk is 1,000, you could have done two. Okay, you could have done two. You can't do five, all right? So you got to keep it close. Risk was 700 for one. Sold at 20. 
profit 1300 which is a 186% return on investment. It's a nice trade. Again, I called this on Friday. So we open, called the 295s, got the drop, boom. One of the biggest advantages of being with me on the options newsletter is that you get these trades and I'm very often calling them and we have the follow through if we're in a put with a gap down or a call with a gap up because I'm good at reading market direction and also stock direction too. It's the rating system. The rating system is how I'm making the picks. We don't often do the diamonds, but I did here. 8.53 in the morning, this was sent out the 10th. The 320s, June 17th expiration, 6.20, say take two, that's fine. You just can't risk $2,500 if your risk is 1,000. You're, you're trying to get it close enough. This is not an exact science, but you gotta stay within your risk parameter. Sold at 16. Profit 1,960, return on investment 158%. So this was Friday the 10th, got the drop, closed here, gap down, boom. Really nice. And again, this continued the last day. I almost got down to 295, it was crazy, crazy. Really nice calls here. And again, every trade worked last week. The 180 Netflixes sent this on Friday in the morning in the pre-market. 524.2, risk 1,040, sold at 15.75, nice trade. 2,110% with a return on investment of 203. And again, you're taking it, getting in and getting out. Here you do it, get the drop out. Again, 100% is a good trade. 50% is fine. 200%, you've got to book money people when you get trades like this. I mean, it's this chart has been wiggly jiggly lately, but I am watching that Netflix. Then we did the Amazons. This was after the split. These are very reasonably priced now. This was a little bit later in the morning. 109s, June 17th expiration, 270. Four contracts. Risk was 1,080. Sold at 750. Profit 1,920. Return on investment 180, uh, 178%. Again, to capture stocks, even particularly with the market, you know, again, this is what I'm very good at doing. The fact that I'm so good at reading market direction is one of the reasons this newsletter is so successful. I have a 79% win ratio so far year to date. I'm just showing you one week and every trade worked. So called this in here, got the drop, boom, boom. And again, it was the 109s. Then on Monday in the pre-market, I called another spy. Lower strike, 380. June 17th expiration, we do the weeklies, cost was 775, one cost 775. Again, you could take two, but that's kind of over your risk. $17 sale, 925, return on investment 119%. So this was Monday here, and again, the trade was up, then it was down, it was a Fed day, then it went, boom. Again, we're looking for momentum, we're looking for selling when we're doing puts, we're looking for buying when we're doing calls. I also called another Q, the 280s, in the morning, in the pre-market, so you can get organized what we're doing. Cost was six, two for 1,200, sold at 10, profit $800. This is a good trade. Sometimes things go really big, sometimes things are 50%, 100%, 80%, that's fine. Again, you have to watch it when you're getting running into the expiration date. If this hadn't backed up here, again, this here's what I called it. If this hadn't backed up here, this would have been over 100. Do you know what I mean? But because when this backed up, then boom. And that was the day before when it fell. Again, the 280s. And then Tesla, which did not go as much as I thought, but still worked, 942 in the morning on Monday. I called it. You could not have done this. If you were a beginner with a risk of 1,000, this was more than double your risk. You have to stay within your own risk parameters, whatever you decide. And that has to be based on the size of the cash of your account. But it did work. It was a profitable trade. I just was expecting it to probably go to 600. It never got there last week. So trading is about taking calculated risk and thinking about what you're doing. That's why I developed a Golden Gap rating system that looks at 26 points in the morning before I make the picks. You are not doing that on the newsletter, okay? You sign up for the newsletter, you're just getting the newsletters like I'm showing here. This is what gets emailed to you. If you wanna learn the system, you sign up for the Golden Gap course, how I'm rating the gaps, that I teach once a month. But if you just wanna trade, you don't have to do the class to sign up for this. People are trading the letter that have never done the class. There's no prerequisites at all for the newsletter. There also is no trials and there's no monthly subscription. You must sign up for one year or six months. Those are the two options. Well worth the price, $69.99 for 12 months and $49.99 for six months. 
Again, the win ratio for the whole year so far year to date is 79%. I'm looking forward to the rest of the year as well. It depends you know, where you're at with your trading, if you wanna do options or day trades, but you can capture the overnight moves and options with a fixed risk, and you can get some really huge return on investments with these moves. And that's one of the reasons why I think trading options is so fun. That's why I, I like it. I started out day trading. I did not start out doing options when I started out trading 14 years ago. Along the way, I got involved with this because actually my broker said, you should really do options, Melissa because I really had a good eye for seeing where something was gonna go in the bigger picture, and particularly in the market. The way that I read the market so accurately is because I, the way that I rate gaps, I rate the market gaps, so that's how we're getting these market trades, and that's what's telling me, again, things are gonna move, and capturing those over a might moves really makes a huge difference to get those big ROIs. If you have questions, if you wanna sign up, you can email me, you get the next trade as soon as you sign up. There's no waiting period and no prerequisites. Have a great day, everyone.